All right, by the background, I know you know we're on one of my favorite places to fish during the summer. The small yet awesome top secret Lake P. Love this place during the summertime. It's a, as I call it, a super highlands reservoir. And the great thing about it is, is that it stays a little cooler so the fish bite a little longer into the summer. Yeah, so today what we're going to be doing is hopefully some swim bait fishing. That's what we did last time in the last video. Hopefully we're going to get to do the same thing. Now, always got my big bag of ice. You can never have enough ice, especially during the summer. Got to stay hydrated. Got to keep those bass nice and comfortable. I forgot to put my plug in my core. So this probably ain't gonna last real long today. All right, so the rest of it, we're gonna dump in the live oil. All right, just primed my motor. I've gotta get it started. We're gonna get it. Cranked up this morning, let it warm up. These old two strokes. They're cold nature. All right, so the conditions of the day, the water on this lake, it's always about, during the summer, 10, 12, 15 foot deep. It's no different today. So far it's calm. They are giving a storm coming in about two o'clock today. So I hope that, you know, I, to be perfectly honest, I don't mind ending up wet myself as I'm untying from the dock here, in case you're wondering what I'm doing. But what I do care that ends up wet is all of that. So all of that is stuff I've got to shoot videos for later today. All right, and no, I'm not sponsored by them companies. That's just stuff that I bought. So you guys know, most of the time I work like 12 hour shifts, so that frees me up to have, you know, some extra time. And yes, I'm tweaking my graphs. Uh, but the thing about that is, is where I've been working so much overtime here lately, that's kind of not been the case. I've not been able to, to have that extra time off. So I have to kind of combine. I get most of the time a day a week if I get that to go out fishing. So generally what I have to do is go fishing for a little while, hope that first thing in the morning that I catch some fish for you guys because I don't always catch them. And uh, you know, then from there, I've got to hope that, or I, I've, I've got to shoot videos you know, for other things so that I can get that content out, get the information that you guys like out. And that is what all that crap is about. All right, guys, that's a good sign. We're out here on the road bed. We've got some moved up. You can see we're in 34 foot. You see them right there it's not a lot but we ain't we ain't on our honey hole yet so we'll we'll find out like i said we're basically first thing this morning we're gonna get three rods three reels out you know i'm gonna have my little sweet head and one knocker out and you know, I'm gonna have my underspin and my big swim bait. There's some right there. This is your road bed right here. This is the bank. And then of course down here, that's actually the shoreline. So here's your road bed. That's kind of where they've cut it into the mountain. The drop off right here, if you see this, this is one ledge right here. This is the creek channel ledge or and this is the other creek channel ledge that comes up to the road bed. This is the road bed. And this is the side of the road where they've cut into the uh, cut into the to the road. Now I'm going to show you something. 
this is my interpretation because I notice it in the mornings, especially on these clear lakes. You see all this clutter, plankton. This is not here as the day goes on and as the sun comes up. There's what shad looks like. There's a fish bite. Now that right there is either big shad or crappy. But this begins to go lower as the sun comes up and that's what plankton do. I already had a fish hit right there. There's some, there's a little bit of bush and a tree that guarantee that's crappy right over top of that. There's a fish right there, 15 foot of water. There's a couple right there. See some up here. See some right here. You can see them right here. All out through here. There we go. That's really what we're looking for right there. We're grouped up. Still not as good as we'd like. You can see some out here. We probably will start on this spot this morning. Unless, of course, our little cut up here is is better. Sometimes it'll hold some, but you can see them. They're, they're all spread out through here. They're all right at that edge. Now, I know a lot of guys is going to say that's a, that's a, uh, that that may be, that that's not phytoplankton or whatever they're called. Now, see, there's some right there. Those are probably bigger shad. See those? How they're bigger dots. Now, there are gizzard shad in this lake. Those are probably bigger shad. I know a lot of guys are going to go, oh, that's a, that's a thermocline, but a thermocline will be, you'll have clear underneath it. This is not a thermocline and it does not, a thermocline does not go away in as the day goes on. So, so let's see what we got here. I kind of missed my spot. I'll hit it on, the, maybe on the way back out unless I just see a bunch of stuff. Now, as you guys can see, water temp is 80.5, so we're definitely up in the water temp area. And let's talk about conditions. It was 68 this morning. It's super humid. Like I said, they're giving some, uh, there's a fish sitting on the edge of the grass right there. Not seeing a whole lot back in here, though. They're giving some storms to roll in probably about 2 o'clock, uh, which is bad, which is generally when the bite goes down. Now those right there are probably crappy guys. You see that? Those are probably crappy, maybe bluegill. Uh, and again, they could be big, big shad. There might be a, a bass or two in that, some smaller bass. And they could be up suspended and roaming. But so far, I'm really not seeing anything down here that's just making me like, woohoo, this is the spot. So we'll make a few casts on that first spot, but we're not going to spend a lot of time there at all, guys, at all. And we have had some fish all the way back here in the ditch. Right there, some, you know, a couple. They're just kind of hovering right back here in the back. And to be perfectly honest with you guys, you know, there's some wood back here. I have yet to figure out how to get one of those fish to bite. I'm sure it's an angle, but anyway, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to troll back over to this other spot. We're going to put the boat against the bank. We're going to cast up and we're going to come parallel with the ledge. We're going to see if we can get one of those fish over there that we seem to bite. Uh, seen a little fish hit a top water over there. With the storm rolling in, it's supposed to be thunderstorms today. You know, we could very easily get a good topwater bite going today. But at the same time, being that this is the highest I've seen this water temp, and right now it's already up to 80.7, so it's not rising much, but it's 0.2 points, you know, two tenths higher. Um, these fish could really be on that swim bait hovering down deep in that cooler water. Whew! Guys, it is humid today. The creek channel runs across right here, right about where that rock is. Let's get my map up. 
there was some chasing shad about 15 foot our good schools on out here but we're gonna see if we can get some takers I have seen zero zero topwater action this morning I mean not a single peck of top water action. I know one thing, I don't want to waste too much time here this morning. There's my waypoint as to where they were. I'm telling you guys, they run these creek channels. They run these creek channels. I'll point out to you, there's one right there, right where we said he'd be. Boom. First thing this morning. And there's why you horse them in, gentlemen. There's why you horse them in. Made that mistake in the last video. Won't make that mistake in this one. Number one. <clears throat> He's not a giant by any means. Now what we're gonna do, since we got bit right there, we're gonna fan cast out just a minute. Now this is something normally guys, I don't spend a lot of time doing because if they're out in the middle of the lake chasing shad, a lot of times they're gonna move but this spot right here is a big creek channel swing so that creek channel what you see out in front of you crosses our face twice so it makes a big u-turn big u-turn all right just because i'm glutton for punishment and I'm gonna waste our time down here a little bit longer. And, you know, who don't like a top water bite over 40 foot of water? Come back here, you some of my. All right, there we go. Who don't like a top water bite over 40 plus foot of water? Right now we're in 24, but Creek Channel is about 43 right out there. Throwing my head, in, you know how I am. It's a translucent bait. Now, guys, I'm going to tell you something about this bait. In this translucent and in this deep water and very slick calm this morning so you got no real light penetration i'm really changing up the cadence not walking it real fast what i find on this lake is that it's like they want it to be one of those shad that are just barely busting the surface every once in a while, ticking up. I get it close to the boat, I'll speed it up some. There he is. Well, that might be a better fish. 
I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no, he's definitely not. He, I think he is a little spot. Oh man, there's a bigger one with him though. So there's fish number two. Again, we ain't finding our size today. All right, guys. This is the combo you see <laughs> seen fall in the water the other day. Thank God for that handle floating it. And it had this bait on it, which is my Bass Munitions uh, Patriot Minnow, the five inch with the half ounce ledge head head on it. So, these things are great. All right, we're gonna make two, three casts with this. And then, we're gonna head on up and see what else we can find. got some little fish chasing shad to the top hopefully this will entice us a bigger bite right now it seemed to the other day like I said we're gonna make about three casts just kind of hit those you know I, I know this lake well enough I know there's the spots on the spot here and so we're gonna make about three casts of those spots. And we're gonna move on. Starting to get a little wind in now. Oh, oh there's, there's a good one. There he is. Stay down. Stay down. Well, still, not as good as I hoped. But man. Gonna talk about in the nose. How's that for wanting it? He's about a cookie cutter. Kind of the same. Kind of the same size. Oh, there he is. Got him. Might be a better one here. And, oh, no, you don't. That is a better one. Nice. I'd say he's a solid three and a quarter. Nice big fish. Ate that underspin right where I thought they should be. Again, that's the ledge head underspin with the bass munitions. Patriot Minnow, that's a 3.5 inch right there. Eighty 
about seven up here. A little, little shallower place. Let's see, we're dropping. May have missed those fish right there. Yeah, they're over to this side. Right there, if you can see them. There's some hanging off right there. Some in the creek channel right there, if you see those little dots. They're just kind of all scattered out up here. We're going to back off. I kind of got the angles down on this spot. But again, that's your creek channel. You know, it's crossing us. And you got all kinds of fish. All these little white bright spots are all fish that are hanging. All right, stop number two. See what we can do. Time to get the shades on. What dang on little carp over there, porpoising. Don't go nowhere. Alright guys, so, you know, I'm going to sum the day up. It's been a tough day on me, and then on the way back, it seems like my graph has crapped out. So, I'm going to have to send that back to Hummingbird. <sighs> Uh, my father-in-law passed away, so that's why I'm off the water now. I'm headed back to be with family. And George was a, he was a great guy. But, uh, you know, it was a good day. You know, pulled up on the first spot, caught four, and uh, pulled up on the second spot and had just made a cast when the wife called and so I had to head out anyway guys I appreciate you being here appreciate you hanging out with me appreciate everything you do for me uh, keep the family keep the wife in your prayers I'm sure by the time you've seen this it's probably gonna be a couple weeks after um, if not it you know at least a week after but you know, keep the wife and keep her family in your prayers. They're going to need it. Thank you, guys. As always, questions, comments in the comment section below. Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell. And you guys rock.